when you when you're that tall, and I'm, I I got out and he he almost was at the window right there. And I I got out, I had to look at. It, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> I'm Miranda Dobbins. And I'm Gerald Dobbins. We are Team Dobbins with Reliable Care. I've been working here at Reliable my 13th year, starting my 14th year. My wife, who we recently got married uh, eight days ago, she's been on the truck with me for 18 months, 19 months. And prior to me coming to Reliable, I was driving a gasoline tanker, so I was delivering fuel throughout Michigan and Ohio, Indiana. We met uh, about 12 years ago at a concert. I should tell the story. Because yeah, we were at a concert, the oldie, uh, oldie for concert, and I was with my mom, and I saw this little old lady, and she just kept walking back and forth, and I, was, and I said, well, ma'am, you know, are you okay? Do you need help? And she's like, Look for my son. He went to park the car. It's taking a long time. He's a truck driver. So what's his name? I'll help you. So she gave me his name. Five guys came by. And I said, are you Gerald? No. Number six. I said, are you Gerald? He says, and you are. I said, Miranda. I said, your mom's looking for you. I told her I would help her or whatever. So we just kind of started talking about the truck and enjoyed the concert. And he called me, honestly, 50 times every day on that day. <laughs> Not we, we became really good friends, though. We did. We had our own separate lives before that, but we had we became really, really good friends. Okay, so we got this truck, 31216, three days ago. It's brand new. Banking new. Got on. Yes, we were plastic miles off. Yeah, we took all the plastic off. And the previous truck we had, we put a million three on it. The other truck was a manual with 13 speed. This one is an automatic. So this was more for her. More my speed. And what I was interested to when I joined the trucking industry. And actually your dad <laughs> told her we were gonna get a truck with an automatic, but she needed to master the 13 speed during the time that we had. Right, because if you break down and you know the next one is available, you have to we'll get, you'll get it to a manual or whatever. Okay, so with the new trucks, from what I understand, they all have it. We have a service where you can hit this button right here and it tests all the lights and everything so you can also do part of your pre-trip with this and you can unlock it. All right, so we are inside of our new truck. One of the nicest features for me that I have is there's a button on each seat. When you get in and out of it, I can just hit this button and it'll raise the seat back up to where I was. I don't have to mess with it. And then when she adjusts the seat, when I want to get out, I just hit the button and I can get right out without having to do anything. Digital dashboard, absolutely wonderful. Love that about the truck. Lots of room, there's no shifter there, no clutch, so it's an automatic. Some of the safety features I've really learned to appreciate. It has the side warning. If somebody is on the side of me, I turn my turn signal on. This will let me know that there's a car in my blind spot. Has the camera up here, so if somebody does something crazy and they try to say that it's our fault, we have protection now. Also, it has the system where if something is in front of you and they slow around, it's called adjustable cruise speed. So if I set my cruise at 65 and I come up on the car and he's doing 60, the truck will automatically slow down to match his speed and keep a safe traveling distance. And one thing that Kenworth did that I like that they improved on is where they put the horn because it used to be way out, you had to reach for it. Now you just put your hand up and you can grab it. Things that I had to learn about the truck, Jake Brake is in a different place. It used to be over on the dashboard. Now they put everything right here where it's accessible, including the radio, all on the steering wheel. Cruise control, everything that you need. The other thing that I like is the way they designed the windshield. I got my, my GPS here. Before, you had to reach way up there or reach way down there, but you can put it here. You're not reaching and being distracted. You can see everything that's going on, still have your full view of the highway. And then as far as having my wife on the truck with me, we actually run team. We can cover a lot more ground in less time. If you got the truck moving 20 hours a day, you can cover 1,200 miles, yeah, especially if you have a good relationship, you have your best friend, your companion with you. We'll get a load to Vegas and if it delivers on, let's say we load it on Monday, and they say it delivers on Thursday. We try to get there 
early Wednesday, get it delivered, and even if they don't allow us to deliver it until Thursday, then we have a full day to enjoy wherever we are, whether it's California, Florida, Las Vegas, Arizona, wherever it is. Take care of your business and you get the truck where it's supposed to be. You have some quality time with your mate. That way, it's not just a job. Now you get the vacation and it doesn't cost you anything. In the past, we were doing everything on paper. All of our logs, they're completely paperless. We don't do any trip reports anymore because it's all done through our tablet. It's all downloaded, shipped to the offices, and they get it a minute or two after we do it. That's really nice. Miranda and I are actually totally paperless now. So unless we have a high security vehicle, we don't have to deal with this anymore, which makes it nice. I think that I've covered everything up here, so we are going to let my wife show you the sleep. Hi, welcome to my home away from home. We have a television with the, all the features that you have at home. We have a bathroom that is very, very important for a female being out on the road driving in a truck. I mean, you have a toilet, a shower, and everything. Your central air, as if you were at home. I have a lot of people ask me, how do you like the truck, being in the truck? You can't do this, can't do that. And I say, hey, we have a whole shower, we have central air, have our television, refrigerator, freezer. We have a microwave, which is a convention oven and air fryer. So you get to cook your meals in there. We have lots of counter space here. We have a kitchen sink. And as you see, I was getting prepared for my husband to give him his midday snack, which was gonna be a smoothie. Strawberry banana smoothie with a little sea moss. It's very uh, healthy driving down the road. Helps keep him alert and lots of energy. I also do dinners here. So today we're gonna have cabbage meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. And we sit here, this is so cool. Like I said, this is like having being at home with your dining room table, you can sit down, share a meal. And here is your bed, which you see is tucked away, but you let it down. We have lots of space here in your closet, as if you were at home. And the sink is wonderful. You have to wash your hands, do your dishes. This is your generator to con control central air. To go with the TV, we have a surround sound uh, bar here. It's wonderful. Like, it's, it's almost like being at home, but you're just traveling down the highway and you're making money while doing it. It's, it's totally awesome and I love it. Well, the other cool thing about being out here, I am a mother trucker. Being on the road is, is, is fabulous. All through my life, I've always only seen males driving a truck. So, and it's, it's been a little shaky sometimes where you run into males out here because they don't want the woman to drive. They think it's a male thing but um, I show them that, hey, I can do this too. And I try to encourage other females. Like we have, Gerald has buddies here at work. So I ask them, do you have a wife? And they say, yes. So we, I contact them. I actually contact the guy, um, Joe. He's another driver. He drives a wiggle wagon. He has a wife, her name is Sharonda. And I hope she sees this because I am trying so hard to get her out here. I spoke with her and she told me she registered for her class. And I'm gonna constantly encourage her and help her with anything I can to get out here to join me and the other women in the trucker world. Totally awesome. Ladies, so come on out. Some of our more memorable car hauling experiences have been. For me, the um, Bugatti. I was like out of my mind when we pulled up to get this car. I'm like, what are we getting, Nitty? This guy pulls this car out and I'm like, holy cow, I'm like we're getting this. And it was like, it was awesome. It was black with black and white, like that matte paint, matte finish. And it was, it had the red leather interior. It was awesome. So I get in it to drive it and I'm cheesing and smiling. I want to take pictures because I've never done that. You know, and I'm like, I want people to know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm hauling some cool cars here. <laughs> and then for me, uh, one of the more memorable uh, together is we picked up a Ford GT at a dealership and she was the only, everybody wanted to drive it. And I was like, no, she's driving. And they were all just standing around, I'm probably wishing they were the ones that were driving it. And yeah. the most memorable car that I've ever caught on by myself was the original Batmobile. Sold at Barry Jackson for like three and a half million bucks. I took it to a guy's house and he actually put it, he had a door built in his living room so that he could put it right into his living room. The coolest person I ever met was 
Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, he was really nice, showed up. Um, he was down in Florida, and I took a Mercedes Benz to him. And when I got out, he just came up to me and started talking. Uh, he was actually still playing at the time. And I asked him, was he gonna get any more championships? And he was like, I hope so. That was it. But uh, <laughs> when, you, when you're that tall, and I'm, I, I got out and he, he almost was at the window right there. And I, I got out, I had to look at him like, oh, man. <laughs> For me, I would say you have to make sure that this is what you want to do because you want to be away from home. And the most important thing is you want to pay close attention to everything because you have to be very, very careful with handling the cars in the safety. You want to make sure that you clear, stand clear of the uh, trailer doors and everything. And when you're inside, well, the decks you don't want to stand up because you be safe. My best advice is you're going to haul cars, this is where you want to do it. There's a lot of companies out there, and I've seen guys, I've, like I said, I've been here for over 13 years, and I've seen guys come and go and come back. The other thing for wanting to work here reliable is, Gerald mentioned earlier that I absolutely hated the manual, and I did. And the one very, 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 very important thing to me is Mr. Abrams, as well as Bob Sellers. Bob Sellers, with Tim Bradley, Tim Sleeman. Tim I wanted to quit. I'm like, I can't do this because you have to test and you have to be able to downshift with the heels and things. And I was so frustrated. And I'm like, I, I'm, I can't do it. I'm going back to town because I can call and get my job back in five minutes. And they were so patient and so confident in me. And I absolutely loved it. If you have to reach out to anyone in the office, they're very accessible, helpful. Yeah. Everybody from the boss, from Mr. Abrams, down to anybody that's in the office that works. I've actually called the boss at three o'clock in the morning before. <laughs> so, and he answered. And I was like, don't mean to bother you, Tom, but <laughs> he said, oh, no, you gotta get it done. So he's been there, he's very accessible. Bob Sellers, who is the vice president, he's extremely accessible. And typically when you work for a company, those people in those positions you don't ever see or hear is Mr. A. He works harder than anybody. He was here Saturday working. And I was like, you in the office? And he was like, yeah, I gotta get stuff done. You wanna be there on time and you want to deliver on time. Actually, you want to be before time because on time is late. Yep, and then you want to take care of your equipment. Everybody here knows that I've always taken care of my equipment. If you take care of the equipment, the boss will take care of you. And you want to keep it clean too because you don't want to be driving down the road with a nasty, bright orange truck. <laughs> and you want to look good as well. You want to represent the company and yourself. Well, thank you guys for coming by to check out our new home on wheels. Hope to see you all again in the near future. Ladies, come on out and join us. It's not anything to be afraid of being on the road as a trucker. As I show you, you have your same home feeling here. You have your, your kitchen, your dining room, your bed. You have your television, surround sound. You can still cook and you can do everything. And you also get to see the country for free while you're working. So come on out.